Isis, and I'm Isis's Youth Marketing Manager. At Isis, I basically handle all of our viral, social networking, and print marketing. I work closely with young people to develop culturally relevant um, programs that will reach them with critical sexual health information, in addition to tailoring other organizations' programs to reach young people. I do this by conducting a lot of fo uh, focus groups, riding the bus when they're getting off school and watching all the trash TV I can, like Jersey Shore, The Hills, The Bachelor, whatever I can, to really get an insight on what, what their experiences it are and how we can use those shows and their experiences to really flip the script on sexual health and empower them to take charge of their lives. Fantastic. Thanks, Margaret. And uh, we're here at Sex Tech 2010. So uh, what is Sex Tech about, actually? Well, Sex Tech originally emerged uh, when we saw that you could use the internet, mobile, and when we say the internet, we mean everything from like IMs, websites, peer-to-peer um, -peer sites like e-bike cards to reach people with sexual health information. People are pretty um, private about their sexual health information and generally don't feel comfortable talking about it face-to-face. -face. But if you put them behind a computer screen, they'll talk about anything. So what we did is we enabled them to have these discussions via multiple channels. Everything from sites like our InSpot, where you can let someone know that you might have picked up a little something something along the way via a peer-to-peer -peer, um, e-card, or um, you can get little sexual health tips direct, uh, dropped directly into your phone via text. All right, excellent. And, and uh, so Sex Tech has been going on, I think, for three years now, is that it? And so what were the differences between this year and last year? That's a great question. Um, in the past years, we've really just been trying to get our public health officials and those working with young people acquainted with technology. We really wanted to showcase how they could adopt these technologies into their outreach strategies and throughout their organizational processes. This year, we've really been trying to showcase youth-led advocacy. What does that mean? We want to show that young people are already using these technologies to talk to each other, and we want to show them how we can convince these young people to be the ambassadors of using this technology for good. So here's an example. Instead of having a bunch of Twitter pages and things like that run by um, like, a, like an admin at your work, hire an intern who is actually a young person and have them do it because they already grow up with Facebook. They know how to manipulate it, they know how to work it, and they're not gonna get flustered when you go on to it the next day and the layout's all different like we will. <laughs> right. <laughs> So I think that's one of the main things this year. I think you'll notice that you saw tons of kids running around, and we really just want to empower them and show how much, how super they are, and what superstars they are when, yeah. the, when you give them the tools to take charge of their own sexual health. Excellent. Okay, so uh, where, where do you see the future of sex tech and ISIS and, and, I guess, sexual health education going on? Well, in the first sex tech, we really showed you how to use the technology and what technologies were available. In the second sex tech, we wanted to see where everybody was um, after we'd shown them how to use that technology. And then this sex tech was really about showcasing the successes and how youth were already using them. The next sex tech might integrate um, the next great thing, which we don't know what it is. Yeah. I think actually someone asked you that in the panel, <laughs> what the next great thing is. But I yeah. think the next, uh, what we'll really be using, what we'll be covering next at the next sex tech, woo, mouthful, um, will probably be how sexual health lives on its own on the internet. And you'll, you'll see the proliferation of content living on its own through viral videos, sites like F My Life and Things My Dad Said. And this is just all piggybacking, piggybacking off the current things like Twitter and Facebook where people are able to let a huge amount of people know what's going on in their lives just by clicking a button. Excellent, excellent. Well, thank you so very much again, Margaret, for... Um, that wonderful interview. Um, I absolutely enjoyed myself here at Sex Tech uh, and, and hoping that uh, readers and, and viewers of Pulse and Signal uh, will, will enjoy it as well. We're right. so happy to have you and if you ever need anything we're right here for you. Alright, thank you.